Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use a shell to HTTP as a web server to turn a shell script into a backend for a website. So, I have a shell to HTTP installed right here. Uh, we can there is uh, some many options right here. So the CGI mode will will make a uh, shell to HTTP act like a uh, uh, PHP inside a web server. So it looks like this: a set in from and variable for with HTTP request information. Where great post would for patch data to script STDI and if if we didn't set the for if we don't set for so and also uh, we shell one this we can specify the, the shell to execute a uh, shell comments and the default one is SSH but if you want to run a a bind file like a, a compiler C++ source code you can just you didn't specify use this to unspecify the shell and run the program without a uh, any shell like a bash zsh or anything so one thread we can limit a process to use a one thread if we want this will this will go for uh, if you want to host a shell, if you run a shell to HTTP inside a server, so if you show errors, it will this will be useful for debugging. So it will also show the error of your for shell script. Let's see right here. We will going to type shell to HTTP. We Cost is 0 .0 0.0.0.0 because I want every because I want it listen to every IP address and then we port it set to 8080 and uh, SSL private key so it's like uh, if you want to run a shell to HTTP as a HTTPS web server you can specify the a key of the SSL certificate and then we will specify every where every shell script will be executed for example if you visit the root of your uh, website URL it will, will execute put cat in index.html which will, will read your HTML files and post the a result into your web browser. So next, um, let's see. We this that will mean must be terminal first and yeah. For with this task, we task we will execute a uh, bash iostat.sh this is uh, the iOS touch donate she looks like it will update the web page every five seconds and some simple CSS regular and also execute the iOS test and, and put the output into a or this HTML tag so next we will also specify the repeat you are process ID URL and then we will second bash bit dot search and then there is nothing need to add right here except the new fetch bash new fetch dot search and So we will open up the this web browser inside the VS Code and we'll close the terminal and see IO stats and yeah it looks like this it will 
this is like pop me workspace in will show the a npm ESSD I guess alright so next we'll go back and see running a process so it running a, a docker and shell to HTTP and also bash and we'll go back and yep yeah, if you want to you can add everything what you one track here but let's see yeah. if you execute a shell comments that require a, a terminal emulators or a PTY and like this one it will now it looks like this it actually looks messy because this doesn't emulate a, a terminal all but rather passing the std out into a uh, web browser so if you want to we'll format the output in to std out front so if the terminal is shell to http if it is nice and then go to localhost 8080 and we'll will change without restarting the server so yeah this is very nice it we can use this to or uh, control a uh, raspberry pi at home or even automating uh, keyboard and mouse in put in a uh, windows pc or anything else what you like but yeah it seems like this is a complicated if you use what's this for to replace a uh, php so don't forget to subscribe to get the latest video from me. Thanks for watching.